Amiga. Alright, it's time to finally cover some more simulation games, preferably ones that don't involve anime balloons. This is American Truck Simulator. I'm sure you've heard of it. You just drive trucks around three states in the base game and make money doing so. It's surprisingly fun and simple, yet challenging and frustrating at times. But of course, that's part of the experience with American Truck Simulator. If you're having a good time, there's bound to be some a-hole that comes out of nowhere to make your day a living hell, like Ferrari drivers. Bullshit! To begin, you have nothing and must build up enough capital to buy your own truck and trailer. Then you hire people and send them off to do jobs while you deal with mass amounts of debt as the banks creep from the darkness to ruin your life and take everything away from you otherwise also known as the American Dream in a Nutshell. All a lie with nothing but debt and suffering awaiting you. Hooray America. Based. The world map is small right now as only some states are available. The dark ones are not in game yet while the light gray with nothing in them are DLC not owned. By default all you get is California, Nevada, and Arizona as a free DLC. But if you want anything else Get ready to fork over lots and lots of money. Each state is like $12 USD except for Texas because it's Texas. So it's a hell of a lot more expensive, nearly $20. Dear God, I'm not looking forward to paying for Rhode Island. <laughs> so it's time to find a job. You can find them based on various search factors like how long the route is or how much it pays. You can then see the route on the map. Once you find one you like, it's off to deliver whatever it is you chose to deliver. Like waste paper. Yay! So let's talk the driving. It's okay, but it depends on the truck you're stuck with. So once you can buy your own, make sure it's one you can control with ease. Cause it's a pain otherwise. I find the Mac and Wildstar brands to work best. But it also depends on the model of the truck, as well as the haul you have. Heavier stuff will weigh you down, costing you more fuel and time. Better hope the random job doesn't give you a low-end model truck to deliver that construction equipment. Oh boy, speaking of time consuming, we need a rant about the sleep system. Why is it even a thing? You can't even counter it. Eventually, you'll either pass out behind the wheel, get a fine, lose time, and get a light fee upon delivery. Or, you'll have to pull over in a rest stop, lose time, and get a light fee upon delivery. I hate this stupid system, it's just here to ruin the fun you're trying to have. I swear it's a dick move on the developer's end just to piss you the fuck off. Jobs can range of easy to hard, like the long route it takes with low pay, or the horrors of navigating tight areas to park and detach the damn trailer. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the good shit, Sunny Jim. Can I just have a break? 
Can I just have one ready? I gotta leave. Okay. No, we just started. Come on, man. We listen, started. listen. There's a lot to see in this life. No, I'm wasting it here. Just fucking, you know? Let's talk about the traffic AI next. It's bad. Yet, also realistic given it's the United States of America. Depending on what's on the road, you'll want to take precautions. The fancy cars and Ferrari drivers will be a problem that will love to get rammed by your truck. The police will also speed up and cut in front of you and slow down to purposely brake check you into a ticket. Fuck the police. Straight from the underground. But wait! There's more! There will be random events on the road at times, such as accidents and road work. This will cause you to alter your route, or you could just pull a schlatt and just skip it in favor of the same route and save it on time. Speaking of awful things, let's cover the graphics. While well, I get the series, along with Euro Truck Simulator 2, were never eye candy, it's still a bad looking game, at least during the daytime. It's not bad looking at sunrise, sunset, and especially at night. The night time is my favorite just cause the night is calming, soothing, relaxing. With all those lights and lighter traffic, there's just something to be enjoyed about the night, especially when you hit Nevada with all the neon lights. And then turn left. Turn left. Yet, the daytime showcases the bad pop-in with PlayStation 1 levels of LOD, not to mention all the shimmering. Oh god, is that vomit inducing with all that shimmering. Anything with an edge or even a chain link fence. Oh god, is it grotesque during the day to look at. I actually legitimately got sick to my stomach and had to stop playing the game for a while because of the bad graphics. And that never happens to me. So you got a truck load of money, but not enough for a truck and a trailer. Well, let's talk the bank. You can take out loans of various sizes. These will all come with mass interest rates to ensure all of your property belongs to the banks, two of which are too huge to fail. Thanks, Obama. Relax. Well, you got a massive loan. Why not buy a truck? You got several places and trucks to browse. Though you cannot get certain models till you reach a certain level. We'll talk about the leveling system later. For now, trucks. Once you find the one you want, let alone can afford, you can now drive it yourself or hire someone to take it over and work under your own company. Got a truck? What about a trailer? If you have a trailer and a truck, you can only take jobs that trailer is qualified for. So it's best to buy different kinds of trailers for food, construction equipment, hazardous materials, etc. But that's costly. So you hired someone. Good for you. Now decide the kind of jobs and skills they'll focus on. I chose long haul jobs to ensure maximum profits. Plus they're paid per job. So these are good ones to send them off on without having to worry about micromanaging everything. Now get back out there yourself, bitch. Because you got a massive loan to pay off. Oh boy, is it a long, time consuming process. Unless you have the money up front, you have to automatically pay daily in small lump sums with a high interest rate attached to it for shits and giggles. Because banks, baby. Because banks. 
They caused the Great Depression and Great Recession of 2008. Don't mess with them. You'll come to regret ever being born. Ass! Oh, I almost forgot to talk about the skills. You earn experience points for every job you complete. The better you do, with the more difficult the job, the more points you earn, and every level up nets you a single skill point. Now you got a skill point, and now you can choose to add it to one of several skills. These can either be a benefit like more experience and money for long haul jobs, or even fuel efficiency. Then there's the hazardous material jobs, with explosives and chemicals, or large equipment hauling jobs. Those bulldozers all around, or even houses and water tanks. There's also the urgent deliveries you can unlock. These require fast paced driving to make your delivery in an extremely short time limit, but the pay is huge. It's all up to you to decide what you want to invest into. The last things to mention on top of the skills is the music and online features. So the music will be first. You won't expect a driving simulator to feature music, let alone several tracks that play at random. Within the game settings, you can also stream music into the game, or even set up a custom folder in your documents with select audio files of your choosing to play instead, or just play anything in another program, or nothing at all, and just mute the music, your choice. Okay. Finally, we're covering the online features. If you want to play with others, you need a World of Trucks account. This is the developer's network. You can also now use a custom avatar instead of the default assortment of, I'm guessing, SCS software developer's portraits. With all things set up, go play with others, or don't. I don't. I'm not a fan of multiplayer games anymore, especially since live services ruined them for me over time with more predatory mechanics and worse quality games. At the end of the day, American Truck Simulator is an average fun game with some problems, but is worth checking out. Though the sheer amount of DLC may turn many off, yet it's no train simulator, or The Sims 4. Also, the graphics can be vomit inducing at times that I actually felt sick playing the game till the night. The traffic AI is a pain too, but I guess they captured the stupidity of the average American driver. Especially those sports and expensive car drivers being reckless. Not to mention the authority abusing police trying to find ways to find you over nothing. But hey, it's American Truck Simulator after all. And you should give it a fair shot. In fact, there's a demo on Steam with free weekends sometimes and continuous sales where the game is only $5 at times. So give it a try. Anyways, that's it for this video. See y'all later. And hopefully, tomorrow, the big project will finally be revealed. Hurry up! I can only amuse myself for so long. Oh well, it's a little different, but entirely possible. Come sit next to me on the bed. I'll show you. I see you. So trusted you. <gasps>